Hi there! This is our fifth question in centripetal force, circular motion. Okay? Let us read the question together. The figure shows a ferris wheel which has a diameter of 140 meter and takes two minutes to complete a revolution. A person of mass 50 kilogram uh, takes a ride on the ferris wheel. Okay. Then he asks us to find the angular velocity, the speed, the acceleration, uh, the reaction of the person in the basket in two positions, A and B. So these are the common things. Okay, so information. Let's write down the information given. We have the diameter. This is the D. Takes two minutes to complete uh, revolutions. Okay. Okay, I write that down already. Um, this is the mass, 50 kilogram. Find the angular velocity omega, the speed v, the acceleration. This centripetal acceleration actually. The reaction. Uh, reaction is actually like the normal force, n1, n2. Okay. So, all right. Now, uh, information given here, we have the diameter. He say and he say he make one revolution in two minute time. And the, actually, this is the period. Yeah, actually, this if you understand, this one revolution is uh, this is the period. Uh, period is what? Period is the time taken to complete one circle. Uh, this you take two minutes to complete one one circle. So this is the period lah. Two minute is the period lah. And uh, we have the mass 50 kilogram. Okay, 50 kilogram. Find the angular velocity. Okay. So angular velocity is related to this uh, one revolution two minute. So how? Uh, we can we can, actually we can write like that. Um, we can write like that. Uh, he makes uh, one revolution. He makes um, one revolutions in two minute time. I uh, just divide. Revolution divided by minute. Yeah? Revolution divided by minute. So how? Uh, top on the top you just convert to radian because we know that um, omega is radian per second, what? Right? Okay? It's radian per second. Radian per second. So the top revolution you need to change to radian. We know that one turn, one turn is two pi radian. Uh, so multiply by two pi radian lah. You want to change to radian what? Right? Okay? And then the top multiplied by 2 pi radian, 1 revolution is 2 pi radian, and then 1 minute is 60 seconds. Uh, 1 minute is 60 seconds. So multiply 2 pi over 60. So uh, what do you get? Uh, just uh, cut off all the. Um, this 2 and 2 can be cut off, and once we. Uh, and what's the answer we get? We got uh, pi over 60. Uh, we got pi over 60. Radian per second. Oh, we got the answer. So pi over 60 is actually 0 0.052 radian per second. Okay? Uh, that's our omega. Uh, that's our omega. We got it. We got the omega. Huh? Uh, and then now, uh, let's find the speed. Uh, speed of the basket uh, Ferris wheel. So speed of the basket, uh, that means uh, speed. Lah. Uh, v equal to r omega. That's our for formula. So v equal to r omega. We r if oh diameter. So diameter you can find radius. Diameter just divide by two. So our radius is seventy meter. Yeah. So seventy multiplied by omega just now is zero point um zero point zero five two zero point zero five two. Uh, so the answer we get is uh. 3.64 meter per second. That's our speed. Uh, 70 times 3 3.64, 3.64, 3.64 meter per second. Now, okay, that's the speed. Uh, what's that? What else? Acceleration. Acceleration is a centripetal acceleration. Uh, okay, so we have the V. So here actually, uh, uh, you have two, yeah. You have two. 
uh, omega and also V. So if you like, you can use R omega square for AC. You, and also you have already you have V already. So you also can use the formula V square over R to find the AC. So see what you which one you want to use. Yeah, both same. So I use the V Okay, V V square over R. So V square over R. So just substitute. Uh, v I I have a uh, 3.64 so just 3.64 sorry 3.64 square and divide by 70 radius uh, this is 6 uh. this is 6 okay uh, so answer 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 0 0.19 meter per second square yes that's our centripetal acceleration now we done that centripetal acceleration. Now we want to find the reaction of basket at basket basket A and also norm, the normal force at basket B. Two different positions. Now at basket A, let's look at basket A. Basket A, where is basket A? Oh, basket A is at the top. Let's draw the free body diagram first. It's very important for you to draw the free body diagram. So at basket A, you know basket A, the person sitting in the basket. Uh, certainly it has the normal force. I uh, why is blue? I want red. Okay, it has the normal force going up. So it's normal A lah. Put as normal A. Uh, or just put as N1. Yeah? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, N A lah. Yeah, N A. Uh, and it has the weight downward. Ah, uh, it has the weight downward. For basket B also, the person is uh, sitting on uh, on in the basket, so it has normal force. Uh, going upward and the weight downward. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, so, because the person is not upside down, eh? the person is sitting on top of the chair. So, the chair gives the normal force upward. For both positions, basket A and basket B, both persons are sitting on the chair. So, the, both, both chair provides the normal force upward. Upward, upward. Normal force upward, upward. Both sitting on the chair, what? Okay, and the weight is downward. Uh, but one thing is, uh, you must look at the centripetal acceleration. Uh, the center of the circle. Center is over here. You see or not? Ah, uh, come on the. Uh, so give me the orange. Uh, never mind. So the center is at the at here. So we have our. Okay. Ah, uh, so our center is at the here. So at the basket A, our AC is downward. Our AC is uh, is downward because towards the center because the center is at the bottom. Is because the center is below below A. Center is below A, so AC is downward. Uh, AC towards the center. What? Yeah, this is our center. And for basket B, the center is uh, above. Center is above, so our AC is going up. Uh, our AC is going up because AC towards the center, so AC upward. Okay, so now let's do the question. Just now, uh, let's uh, do the basket A first. Basket A is uh, AC downward. Yeah, AC downward. That's correct. And this is our free body diagram. And the normal force upward, weight downward. So remember to write the uh, positive and negative sign. Follow acceleration positive, opposite negative. That's it. So what we can say is the weight is positive, normal force is negative. Okay, just write that down, yeah. So the weight is positive, the normal force is negative. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so this is equal to M A C. Yeah, M A C. So our uh then uh, let's uh, you know actually this is a uh, centripetal force F C. Yeah. Uh, only the y component. It has a y component. Uh, so our N A is equal to um, uh, okay uh, just uh, okay this is W minus M A C lah uh, or you can say it is a uh, M G minus M A C alright uh, so what is our mass what is our mass our mass is fifty kilogram yeah fifty fifty or oh, we can actually factorize out. Okay, factor this out. So mass is fifty 
and then g is 9.81 what else our g value number 81 uh yeah our ac is uh, our what is our ac i think we ah uh, we got the ac just now isn't it 0 0.19 uh, 0 0.19 you don't need to use the v square over r anymore we already got the ac so just have to see the value of ac 0 0.19 so this is 0 0.19 uh, so calculate we get 481 newton uh, this is normal force at a sometimes normal force can also be written as reaction force they are the same okay they are the same you can write as uh, na or ra reaction yeah you can write this normal or you can write this as reaction force the same they are the same yeah, same thing like this one normal force also can write as rb okay that's our normal force at a for the top now for the bottom how about the bottom at the bottom uh, the ac is going upward because the center is above so remember to put the positive negative sign uh, follow acceleration positive opposite negative you see uh, opposite then this one you see uh, the positive negative sign so okay so which force is positive the normal force the normal force is positive the weight is negative the weight is negative again this is the centimeter force now um what's um um okay let's rearrange so normal force is equal to the weight plus mac uh, which is mg plus M A C so is mass G plus A C. So what do you get? Um uh mass is 50, G is 9.81, AC is 0 0.19, and this is 0 0.19. So our normal B is 500 Newton. That's our uh normal force. We can also write as R B. Okay, so what we can say is at the, uh, you know, this is the, uh, this is the answer, this at the top, this at the bottom. So what I can say is at the, at the bottom, uh, the normal force is bigger, the top, the normal force is um, uh, smaller. Uh, what we can say is the at the bottom, uh, what does it mean? Here it feels heavier. And the person feels heavier, more attached to the seat, more attached, more attached to the to the seat, more attached to the seat, uh, the seat, yeah, more attached to the seat. It feels heavier, but at the top here, at the top, uh, it feels lighter. The person feels like floating, you know, uh, feels lighter, uh, less attached. To sit, ah uh, yeah, feels lighter. Ah uh, you see, so at the top ah, uh, normally if the the Ferris wheel turn too fast, the person normally thrown out from the top first. Ah uh, being thrown out from the top because here the top feels lighter, more attached and less attached, but uh the here it feels heavier. Yeah, uh, I mean more attached to the seat. So. Top is more dangerous than the bottom. More bottom is much safer. You feel more heavier, more attached to the seat. Here, you feel like you are floating. If the thing is spinning too fast, if the ferris wheel is spinning too fast, here you lose contact from the seat very easily. Huh. You lose contact from the seat very easily, being thrown out from the top easier. Uh, yeah? Here you fly away. Understand or not? Uh. Okay? So, uh, yeah, easily when you fly away, that means the normal force is zero. Normal force is zero. So, I hope you uh, enjoy the lesson. Uh, these are the things I just want to uh, share with you. Okay? So, uh, I hope you enjoy the lesson. Uh, stay tuned for the question six yeah, later on. Thank you. Bye.